Well, hi there. Jen and I are out today. Um, we've come down to uh, the town or the city of Stirling, and uh, we have come to the National Wallace Memorial, I think is what it's called. Yes, the National Wallace Memorial. This is the memorial uh, for or to William Wallace. And uh, I'm sure if any of you have seen Braveheart and Mel Gibson's character, you will know uh, of William Wallace. But William Wallace back in 1297 defeated an army of English people who were trying to, um, to take over Scotland's freedom. And uh, William Wallace was one of, the, uh, one of the knights who defeated the English army here at uh, the Battle of Stirling Bridge. So we're going to go and have a look around the, uh, the area here and see what we can find. The actual memorial monument is on the very top of the hill up here, um, but there's three nice paths that you can take to get up there. So we're going up, going to go up one and come down another and uh, check it on out. But you can still see there are some leaves on the trees not as many down this way, but uh, there's still lots of autumn colour all around. Just off the main path, or the main road up the, uh, up the hill, there is a turn off here to a viewpoint. So we've, uh, we've taken it and we're going to go and see what's over here, see what we can see. Hopefully we can see something. Although the trees are looking tall, so maybe we can see trees. We'll check it out in a sec. Okay, yeah, so um, the viewpoint is, um, well, tree infested by the looks of it. <laughs> Can't see very much except all the trees around about. So that's okay. I think it's supposed to be of the mountains that are over there in the distance. Um, but we really can't see very much at all. We'll turn around and continue up to the monument. So we're almost at the top and you can see the, uh, the silhouette of the Wallace Memorial. We haven't got far to go, so we'll continue on and uh, show you what we can see from the top up here. So here we are at the top of the hill, not the top of the monument. And you can see the monument there with the statue of William Wallace and the castle going all the way to the top. Well, the monument going all the way to the top up there. It's very cool. This used to be an abbey. And then after the uh, abbey, they then turned it into the monument. You can see the Scottish flag here blowing in the wind. It was blowing out nicely just a minute ago, but there you go. Had to come and stand back a little bit here because uh, it's so tall. Even now, I don't know if I can quite fit the whole thing in. Oh, maybe just. Look at that. So there you go. That's the uh, the Wallace Memorial here. Abbey at the front. Uh, the wind has just started kicking up here, so it's now becoming quite cold. There's Jen over there taking some photos. So we're going to wander back over towards it and uh, see what else there is that we can see over here. We are heading from the monument back down to the car park. Yes, we're going uphill at the moment, as Jen reminds me, even though we're going down to the car park. So, this time we're taking a bit of a, a walk through the, through the forest to try and take some bird photos and that, but haven't seen any, no birds, not close enough to take a photo of anyway, except for maybe these ones here in the carving. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool to see a deer. Have seen a couple of squirrels, um, but uh, yeah, haven't been lucky enough to see 
anything else. See one of those eagles would be nice. But uh, no, no such luck here. So we're back down the bottom here now, back at the Legends Coffee House and uh, the gift store. We're gonna go in and check them out and see what they have uh, before we head on to somewhere else. Don't know where that somewhere else may be. Didn't really have plans for today. Our plans were, well, it was supposed to be raining, but it didn't. So we decided to rush out and do something. And uh, so we don't really have any plans at the moment. There you go. The National Wallace Ma Monument. Ma -mon -ma -mon -ma <laughs> the National Wallace Monument. <laughs> So after we left the Wallace Monument, my monument, as I said before, the Wallace Monument, we've uh, continued up the road a little bit on our way back towards home, and we've come to uh, a park and some statues. And, uh, it's called the Helix, is the name of the park, and the statues are called the Kelpies. And uh, they look like two giant horse heads. Uh, we'll show you as we get a little bit closer. So we're a little bit closer here and you can see them. These are called the Kelpies. And uh, as I said, although they look like horses, they're actually not horses. What they are, are a Scottish uh, folklore um, shape-changing water spirit is what the Kelpies are. Uh, they're called water horses or shape-changing water spirits and uh, it's a Scottish uh, myth and uh, they made these uh, giant statues and they look sensational so we're gonna go a little bit closer and have a look you can see them quite clearly there the horses and uh, if you do a tour apparently they do run tours, although COVID and everything like that. I haven't found out any information about the tours, but apparently you can go climb up in the heads if you uh, go and pay for and do a tour. Uh, there won't be any on today because it's late in the afternoon now, but uh, yeah, we might find out. This isn't too far, relatively speaking, from where we live. And uh, I believe that at night time they light them up. We are going to confirm that and we might come back one night and have a look. But yeah, the Kelpies here at Helix Park. And uh, yeah, very, very cool.